Ypres, a market town in Flanders. Before the First World War, it was a popular tourist destination. Visitors came to admire the 13th century cloth hall, its cathedral and its ramparts. By the end of the war, Ypres had been completely destroyed. Churchill recommended that its ruin be preserved as a reminder of what had happened there. In September 1914, Ypres found itself in the end game of what became known as the Race to the Sea as the Allies and their German enemies sought a breakthrough along the Western Front. The outgunned and outnumbered Belgian army deployed the last weapon in its arsenal, opening the sleuth gates on the River Iser, cutting off the German coastal advance, which left Ypres between the Germans and their goal of seizing the Channel ports and knocking the British out of the war. These flat fields saw some of the worst fighting of the war. Hundreds of millions of shells and bullets were expended in four years of brutal trench warfare and still, a century on, the earth continues to yield up its deadly secrets. Three terrible battles were fought here, each brought its own horrors. Thousands of Irishmen, too, died in the mud of Flanders. Among them were the MP Willie Redmond, at 56 one of the oldest men to die in battle, 14-year-old John Condon from Waterford, one of the youngest, the poet Francis Ledwidge and the well-known priest Father Willie Doyle. At 8pm every night, the last post is sounded at the new Menin Gate. It commemorates the 55,000 British and Commonwealth soldiers who have no known grave. Here too is commemorated 3,022 Irishmen. The Irish involvement at Ypres is best remembered for the Battle of Messines Ridge in June 1917. Nineteen huge mines were detonated under the German lines with catastrophic consequences and craters that are still there today. The 16th Irish Division marched up this hill and seized the village of Wiesgata. The 36th Ulster Division took the surrounding countryside. It's on this spot that the Island of Ireland Peace Park was opened by President Mary McAleese and Queen Elizabeth II in 1998, a hugely significant year for the peace process in Ireland. Three pillars enumerate the huge number of casualties of the three Irish raised divisions in the First World War. There are almost 70,000 casualties in total. The First World War may be part of Ireland's hidden history, but here in a foreign field, it could hardly be more visible.